Hey guys, welcome. Good morning. Welcome. There's nobody here yet. I don't know what I'm thinking. But, won't be like that for long. Good morning, Pac-Man. So, uh, this is what you're seeing right now, uh, is one of the new wallpapers. This is one of the final ones, uh, that Rinse Wind, Neo Richman, uh, built for us. And they are all now available on the download section of the forums. So that's exciting. There's a ton of them there. There's a, really a lot. Uh, basically I think he put up everything, every single one that, 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 he ever made and all the revisions and all that stuff. So definitely uh, give those a download if you want. Good morning, Shades, K Money, Jade. Yeah, yawns. I'm with you there. So this morning, uh, I had a pretty interesting morning. Thank you, Pac Man. No stream yet. What do you mean? What do you mean, Jade? Hey, 3D Imagination, welcome. Quad, welcome. So this morning, uh, I was walking my kids to school, and this woman stopped me and asked me for a ride and all this stuff, and uh, I ended up giving her a ride, um, but it was very obvious that she was on some kind of, she was high on something, and I don't know what she was high on, but uh, definitely want to pray for her this morning, because I gave her a ride somewhere, but I mean, I couldn't really hold a, a good conversation with her because she was high. So I just kind of want to pray that she's safe. Anybody else have any prayer requests before we jump in and get started? Or get stuck in, like Simply Austin says? Stuck in? Yours still says offline. Hmm. Try refreshing. I assume you guys are all, yeah, you guys are all up because you can see my wallpaper. Sometimes Twitch takes a long time for, for me to, to, for it to show that I'm, I'm live for me as well. So I don't know, maybe it's because I'm streaming at too high of a bit rate or something. Not sure. I should probably look into that, figure that out. Let's get stuck in, guys. Is it stuck it? Or stuck in. I thought it was stuck in. Cool. In. Yeah. Alright. Any prayer requests before we get started? Hey, Neil. All right, let's go ahead and pray and get going here. Basically, we just need to wrap up the... Cool. Hey, Jade. We just need to wrap up stuff for the 6.9 release right now. Yesterday, I spent mostly just fixing bugs. My main goal yesterday was to fix the VLC videos not showing up every once in a while issue. And I think I did. I need to get up on the forums and see if anybody else has run into anything else. But ultimately, it's going to be bug fixes today. Um, so, and there's a bunch of stuff to do, so not, not everything has to get into the 6.9 release, but we'll do the best we can. I'd like to put out the release, um, uh, definitely Friday at the latest. I'm thinking tomorrow would be ideal. So that's where we're at. Anyways, let's pray. Lord, thank you for the opportunity to help people out when they need it. I pray that you would, um, be with Darren today and help her to uh, just stay safe, get her off the street, get her where she needs to be, Lord. Keep her safe and 
get her sober and all the stuff that she needs. Um, thank you for opportunities to, uh, you know, give people a ride or just help out wherever, wherever people need help, Lord. I pray that you would reveal to me other ways which I can help people out today and tomorrow and ongoing in the future. Uh, give me strength and guidance and direction. Uh, give us productivity on the stream. Um, be with us today, as always, and help us wrap up things for the 6.9 release. Help us make it as, as stable as possible. Um, and help the release to go smooth, Lord, um, so that people have a good experience with LaunchBox. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay. Cool. By the way, I hate this shirt. I'm just putting that out there. But, like, my, uh, uh, I got a lot of laundry that hasn't been done that I need to help my wife with because she's, she's, uh, uh, kind of drowning in laundry right now. So, anyways. Yeah, I'm out of clothes, so that's why I'm wearing... I got out of bed for this. Yeah, it's not my favorite shirt in the world. Anyways. Basically, uh... Jade, yeah, I, I don't know... I don't know if, uh... If she's... If she doesn't have a home. I think she does. I, I think she just kind of got stuck, and she was, uh... She was high on some kind of drugs, and I couldn't have a good conversation with her. So I'm kind of just praying she stays safe. I gave her a ride over to a place where she could take a shower. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I didn't try and, and, and get too many de details about her life just because she, uh, it was too hard to have a good conversation with her because she was so high. So anyways, kind of, I'm just praying she stays safe. Anyways. You're still waiting, Stipulus. Sure. All right. Let's go. Let's get going. Anyways. So one thing um, I want to fix is this vertical alignment different between VLC and Windows Media Player. So we can take a look at that. The other thing I want to do is load up tickets. I kind of want to check up on the forums as well to see if anybody's reported anything in the beta testing thread. Hey, Static Fade, welcome. So, I'm gonna start on Bitbucket this morning. And we'll see what there is there that needs to be fixed. All right, so I'm just gonna, yeah, we'll sort by updated. Yesterday I went through and I fixed literally like 50 different tickets, uh, or I, I went through and, I mean, there's always a lot of duplicates when you're going through bugs, but really, um, really helped reduce the, the number there, so that's good. But I just want to go through the top, the first page, most recent tickets here. A lot of these I already addressed yesterday, or tried, looked into, and put them off. We'll see. This is 30 minutes ago. So I just, I've been talking to Ali. I'm not sure if Ali is here yet. But anyways, this one's weird. He's... Got an error, a new guard page for the stack cannot be created, which I've never seen before. I looked that up, um, and it could be any number of things, so it's hard to it's hard to see what's going on. Beetle Maniac, do you plan on scraping Windows Media Player completely for VLC? Scrapping. Uh, once the VLC developer helps you iron those problematic bugs. So first off, I think um, we've got the bugs squashed. I'm praying hoping that we have all the VLC bugs squashed as of yesterday, as of the latest beta. Um, and I'm gonna check the beta testing thread here to see if anybody else has any more issues to report. But as far as I can tell, I've fixed the, um, pretty much 
all the issues with the VLC engine. Do I plan on scrapping the Windows Media Player engine? No, I don't see any reason to. Um, do I plan on switching, switching it over to VLC default? Yes, I do. Um, so VLC will be the will be the recommended solution once I get all this stuff fixed. Mostly because Windows Media Player, everyone, uh, there's more. Honestly, there's more issues on various systems with Windows Media Player than VLC. If we can just get the VLC bugs fixed, then VLC will provide a more stable experience across the board. It's just a matter of getting it all fixed up. And I think we're there. I hope we're there. I'm not going to make it the default until uh, for another version yet so that we can see if the, anybody else is reporting any issues once we go live with 6.9 before we make it default. No Dennis today. Yes. Absolutely, that's a big win. How'd the dentist appointment go, by the way, Jade? Hopefully no major issues. Yes, we are focusing on bugs today, Beatlemaniac. Pac-Man, I see ad side A on line 39. Here's some file names for my Apple II ROMs that are based on Hyperspin XML. Will you be adding support for this file name convention? It's a bit different than what I see on your notes. Disk 1 side A. Interesting. Disk one side B. Huh. So. Yeah. That's that's going to pose a problem. Because we're. Uh, right now it only supports a number. So yeah we can add that eventually. But we're going to probably need a separate piece of logic for that stuff. No cavities. Yay. I haven't been to the dentist in so long. It's really probably stupid for me, for me not to go to the dentist, but it's been a very long time. So I hope I don't have any cavities, but I have no idea. Please make cover flow with details so it will loop. This is driving me nuts when a track mode gets stuck in the last game. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's something we should probably do. Okay, money, I agree, and it shouldn't be that difficult. So we'll look into that. Um, as a matter of fact, I have that on my list, but I'm going to put it at the top so we don't forget. Cover flow loop. Tapes. Yeah, there we go. Some more issues. That's not something, unfortunately, that, that those aren't things we're going to tackle today, guys. Uh, but that does make sense. I hadn't thought about that. Anyways... So this error, I think, I've never seen this before. I hope this is just his system. He's going to reformat and see if it's just his system or what. Uh, Launchbox crashed. Windows, it's 6.8. Yeah, this is driving me nuts. This this particular error. There's two of these. One's a null reference exception, and one's this invalid operation exception. Object is currently in use elsewhere. And I've got a bunch of these tickets in... Uh, um, and it's, it, it's happening in launch box, not big box. And I can't seem to get them fixed. I can't find where the problem is. So I think I'm going to have to put that off past the 6.9 release, unfortunately. But it's the kind of thing that happens every once in a while randomly. And it's really hard for me to get fixed. So I'm not going to be able to fix that one today. But this is really slow downloads uh, in the UK from the forums. Still don't know what the heck to do about that one. Uh, and it, it's it's sporadic. Every once in a while, this, it's just really slow in the UK, and I have no idea why. I can't do anything about that right now. Uh, we fixed this one. This was um, uh, Quan Chi. I'm trying to remember what his, his forum name is. Anyways, and this is resolved. Double audio, sure, I just fixed this. Why am I seeing resolved tickets in here? Whoops. I don't want to look at the resolved ones. I'm only interested in tickets that have been updated that are bugs for right now that aren't closed. Open, bug, there it is. These all I've, anything that's greater than a day old, I've looked at. Okay. Yeah. Now this is, 
this slow thing. And I, I was going to look at, I, there's obviously something going on for every, every once in a while I, I get, uh, news from somebody that Launchbox and Big Box are very, 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 very slow. And it doesn't really make any sense because most of us, it's, it's quick enough with large collections, but some people, something is conflicting on their systems and it goes like stupid slow, like it takes two minutes to start it up. And that's not a common experience, but for Carl and, uh, maybe some other people in this thread, it's going really, really slow. So I was going to hit, hit him up via team viewer to see if we could get it fixed up, figure out what's going on to cause that to happen for certain people only. I don't get it, but nothing I can do about that right now. Uh, this frozen. Yeah. Are you still seeing issues? He's, he moved it to a different drive and started getting crashes, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but I figured maybe the drive was bad. I don't know, but he's going to get back to me on that. So yeah, we got nothing new here since yesterday to really look into bugs wise. Okay. So that's it there. Actually, let me pull up the forums. Check out the comments here. What do you guys got going on? Rocket launcher, Pac-Man. <clears throat> How to set up multi-game support. Ability to swap a game disc tape while playing an emulator. Sure. That's cool. That makes sense. If I delete a game, does it delete metadata? I wanted to re-import some games from before multi-disc import was added. Yes, Jade, if you do, if you delete the game, it deletes the metadata. It does not delete, delete any images or videos or any media. Um, so what you can do is you can, uh, the only thing you got to worry about, in other words, is metadata, just the text. If you, you don't have to re-download anything, uh, but it will remove the metadata if you delete the games. <clears throat> so if you have uh, like favorites and, and changed metadata and stuff like that, then yeah, you will have an issue. <laughs> That's a fond memory, Stifilis. <laughs> Interesting. I have never, actually, I never had the opportunity to play with a tape-based system. So, hey, Martin, welcome. <laughs> Syphilis. <laughs> hey, EA. Oh, worried about the videos. Sure, the videos will stay. Yeah, you don't have to re-download the videos. So basically, after you re-import, after deleting them, you delete, you delete your games, you re-import, and you uncheck everything, and all the media will, will be right back after you re-import all the games. The only thing you got to worry about is is your metadata reverting back to what it was by default. All right. Let us check out the forums here. I want to go to features. I kind of want to check the translation thread and then the beta testing thread. Oh, Norwegian translation packages. Whoops, I need to get on that at some point. Um, and then we got Brazilian Portuguese translation ready for us. Thanks to A. Faustini. That's good. Beta testing. All right. Well, nobody's responded here with any issues. Good news. All I can figure is that hopefully things are going smoothly. That's good. All right. <clears throat> Let's 
Static fade. A couple of betas ago, the voice is working great for me. Then a few betas later, every time I say launch box or arcade, etc., it tells me one of the goodbye messages and closes launch box. That's weird. Okay. So it's interpreting... What? Huh. Now I'm lost on that static fade. Pac-Man. Ever suggest to display some caching indicator so the user knows when caching is taking place. That's not a bad idea. That's probably a, a good idea. A really good idea. I like that idea. We should, yeah, that would help resolve some, um, it might be annoying, but it's an, it, we can have an option to turn that off. Static fade, that wallpaper is available now. Um, Rincewind uploaded them all yesterday. So you can get this wallpaper and a bunch of other ones on the forums. Just go to downloads. Uh, I'll show it off here real quick. Go to downloads. And then it's right here. Uh, it's under Launchbox Big Box Official Media and Launchbox Wallpapers. And you can download, there's a bunch of these that you can download. Ton of wallpapers there. So enjoy. And thank you, Rincewind, for the awesome wallpapers. Yeah, uh, tr do try turning on debug mode. That might help. Static fade. I don't really... It, that's a weird one. Just to check to make sure that it's not happening to me, I guess. I haven't tried the voice recognition in the last beta or two. So let's make sure it's working. But... <clears throat> Batch downloads, yeah. You mean, I think, I think the the only way to do batch downloads would be to zip it up. We could we could like zip them all up and put a zip file up there instead. But yeah, I know what you mean. It'd be nice. Um, launch box. Never mind. Yeah, it's working. I don't know. Arcade. Never mind. Big box. Exit. So, if it's... Man. If it's... it's So, static fade. What, it, it's just... Even when you just say launch box, it's responding with an exit message and then immediately exiting huh that's so weird. The only thing I can think of is that maybe yes is being interpreted as exit. Why would that be happening though? Try turning your speakers down or muting your speakers and see if it still happens, static fade. That would be the first thing to first step to troubleshoot it so mute your speakers so that it can't so so you can't hear the response uh and see if that fixes the issue because that could be the problem and if that's the problem then i should put some extra um extra checks in there to avoid that from happening jade platform videos and i have to clock them all 
I'm not. I don't get you. What do you What do you mean? What do you mean there? Thanks, Stiflis. <laughs> yeah, I think what might be happening, my what one my guess, okay, is that when it says yes, it could be interpreting that as exit. So it could be listening to itself, if that if that makes sense. That would be my hunch as to what might be happening. If all you're saying is launch box and then it's immediately exiting, or, or I mean, yeah, if all you're saying is launch box and then it's immediately exiting, what it's doing is it says, you say launch box, it says yes. And then it might be interpreting what it's saying as a command and immediately exiting. That would be my only thought as to what could be happening there. So, um, if you try muting your speakers and it works, then I'm guessing that's what's, then, then obviously that would be the problem and I've got it right. So yeah, if you can test that and then chime in on the beta thread with your, with what, whatever's happening, I'd appreciate it. Static fade. Thank you. to check Martin's uh, sync thing here. Several reasons why Dropbox may not be the best solution. The obvious one being cost. Yeah, Dropbox isn't cheap. Also, people may not want their info floating in the cloud or simply be restricted by bandwidth connection speeds. Sure. Free file sync was recommended to me, but I have found what I believe to be a better alternative. That is BitTorrent sync. Interesting. The key benefit of both these that are free Huh. That's cool. Interesting. That's cool. Huh. I wasn't aware of that. Does that would would that work for like multiple machines and all that stuff so that so that it would automatically keep up to date between like five different machines? That would be neat. All right. Well, let's move on from here. I I didn't get anything uh from any of that stuff really as far as anything to do. So that's good. All right. Uh cover flow loop Let's do it. Why not? We need to, I do need to get that done because it messes with the, um, with the attract mode. So cover flow loop, it, it might be really, really easy. I'm not sure. We'll see. I hope it's going to be easy. Under uh, controls cover flow. Think it's not wheel cover, obviously. It's not horizontal wheel cover. I think it is just box art cover. Cover base has this. Or maybe not. Where am I at? Is it uh, box art cover factory? Yeah, there it is. Endless. It'd be really nice if this just did it. I think it might just be that simple. And you guys are probably gonna want to shoot me when you see how simple that change was <laughs> that I haven't done it yet <laughs> but uh, hopefully it is that simple we shall see All right, um, let's go into Super Nintendo and switch up the view. 
And I I don't have anything loaded, but look. Uh okay. Yeah, so after we get uh dang it, I figured we were gonna have some kind of issue. So cover flow is unique in that it's got a bunch of unique stuff with it. So it did loop it, but unfortunately, so that might not be the best solution. Maybe what we should do instead is have it just jump back to the beginning at the end. Curious to see what happens at the end though. Of course, it's still loading all the images. Yeah, and then it, once you get past the original set, it messes up. Why is that? So we got two options. We could either try and fix this issue and keep it looping or we can just detect when it's at the end and revert back to the beginning if it's at the end. I kind of like it looping though. Cody does this, it's back, it's called fixed list. I'm not quite following on that. This isn't bad, but it basically it just stops animating once it gets past the edge, and I'm not sure why. Let's see if we can figure that out. Animate all. Oh. That might hit, that might solve it. It might also be a performance issue though, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I have a feeling animate all animate all is going to cause problems actually, but we'll see. Oh, look, it fixed it though. It actually did fix it. However, I have a feeling we're going to have performance issues more this way. I'm not sure though. I guess we'll have to see. It definitely works. Let's go to a platform that should be all loaded. So it's not caching anything. And this is still loading crap. Yeah, it'll work the same way with the cover flow with details view. Okay, cool, Martin. Keep it looping. Come on.
It does seem like it's slower, is the only thing, and I'm not sure why exactly. I need to look at how that's used. Um, because my only concern is performance issues, so. Because I don't want things to be worse off performance wise. And it doesn't seem to be that smooth. I know if we go uh what is it? Images, cover flow image quality. Supposedly that should speed things up a lot, but it'll also be ugly. You see how quick that loaded though? But it's still not, yeah, it's still kind of slow. Oh, sure. I get it, Neil. Thank you. Yeah, we do that uh, in the text lists. Uh, we have the fixed list thing. Um, so it would make sense to to do that. So, I mean, both ways make sense. I kind of like the looping, though. It's cleaner, nicer. But I want to make sure we're not running into any performance issues. So let's uh, so you Pac-Man, you wanted to start from the to, to jump back to the beginning at the end, like we do for the text view. Yeah, we could add an option for this. I don't know. Let's let's see how how we do for the uh, fixing up the animate all thing, or, or or to see how easy it is to get this back up to performance wise. So I'm calling rotate cover. It's, it's, I think this is the only difference. Sure. So yeah, this is it. It's either I run this block or I run this block and supposedly this block is more performant for the cover flow. Just calling rotate cover for one at a time versus calling it for everything. But why? In coverlist.keys, coverlist is all the currently displayed covers. Yeah, I get it, guys. That makes sense. I'm not sure I want to take the time to add an option and all that stuff to do both ways. That's the only thing. So we can, I, I just don't know if I want to go through all that effort. But eventually, we'll, I'm sure we'll want to do that. I'm just not sure I want to do that before the 6.9 release tomorrow. Take cover, skip animation. Mm. 
this previously, if Trying to figure out why I need this though, because it should only be animating one at a time, but it doesn't animate any if it gets past. Oh, I know why. I think. I think I know why. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go into box at cover factory and I'm going to turn off animate all. The reason why we need to animate all is because in a wheel setting, Every single one of the items that are displayed needs to animate. Uh, in the cover flow setting, it they they jump except for the one that that flips over in the middle. So I think the, we just need to tweak this logic here. Okay, we have new index. I have image index, we have count. Sure. New index is the actual index in the list. Image index is, and then old index. I see. So new index, becomes image index. And then old index, this dot index is greater than old index if old index is less than this dot first realized index huh This dot index equals new index. There it is. Okay. So index is the new index. And we kind of need to change that up. New index. Sure. We, can, we need to use image index, I think. Old index, though. I see. Okay. This is kind of a crapshoot, but no, because okay. Okay, oops, and then we kind of need to deal with old index. And old index, int old index, if old index is greater than or equal to count old index equals new index modulus count. Let's just copy this. A 
Oops. do anything in that case. Okay, wait a second. Let's change this up a little bit. So something like that and then yeah we shall see if I got my logic right no idea if this is really gonna work but we'll find out Dang it, I messed it up. That ain't right. Yeah, we got all kinds of issues now. So, let's see. I had changed new index to image index. Let's catch up on some comments here quick. That's awesome, Martin. Good to hear. Thank you. Where is that pull? Can somebody link me to that pull? Yeah, that is good. That's definitely good. That's huge. Makes sense on the RetroArch tutorials. How much does setting up a static IP for your devices and setting the optimal MTU help in online games? I'm not sure I'm going to be a good person to answer that question, but my understanding is that a static IP uh, 
an optimal MTU. See, I don't even... It seems like an optimal MTU wouldn't be related to a static IP, but I don't really know. I'm not a good person to answer the question, so I'm not going to try. Static IP by itself won't really shouldn't do it, make any difference for online games, as far as I know. Yeah, Shades. Agreed. We should update some of them. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. You can port forward whether you use a static IP or not. Oh, that's cool, Beat Beatlemaniac, about uh, RetroArch. Cool. Makes sense, Pac-Man. Link to the poll, thank you. Awesome. Where is the actual poll? There's a poll on in the video. Maybe I'll have to watch it later. All right, anyways, back to the code. What do we got going on here? It's in the video itself. Okay, interesting. Does it show the results in the video itself too? I'll have to watch it after the stream ah I see I'm gonna vote RetroArch and LaunchBox clearly whoa we're killing it dang no kidding 57% launch box. That's awesome, guys. That is awesome. Very cool. Sweet. Yeah, I'll watch the video later. But for now, we got to fix this. And this is just annoying math, is all this is. It's just yucky math that I need to fix. So reverting this back, um, it's got to think through how this should work. So we really shouldn't be switching up, changing uh, index, we should use what we had and it's setting index to new index which is the original not the ah uh, well yeah that makes sense so this is the index of where it's in, in the whole list where it's at in the whole list and then old index sure so new index and old index are the entire the entire list Which it makes sense that that would be fine. So why is that a problem? I think it's maybe this first realized index. That's the problem. I'm betting that's the issue. Just out of curiosity. I actually, I'm, I'm almost positive that's the issue. And old index, what is old index set to by default? 
this.index and the original value for this.index I don't know. We'll see what happens when I get rid of those. It might just work, for all I know. That would be nice. Cool thing about Launchbox is that it's getting so many people into retro, into retro gaming. For example, I was only interested in retro Nintendo consoles, then I discovered Sega, Atari, NEC, etc. Thanks to Launchbox. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really, really cool. Yes. Our unofficial ambassador. Absolutely. Austin is awesome. He uh, really contributed to, he's contributed to Launchbox's growth so much, it's it's incredible. Uh, he's been a crucial part of us growing, so I owe him, we owe him a lot. We really do. See what happens. Going to Super Nintendo. Ah, come on. Really? Same issue. Hmm. Let's go to the end. And then it does the same thing. Huh. That would be really neat. Yeah, that's that's possible. Just have to configure the key that does it, and then, um, yeah, it would work. The coin thing. And play a coin sound effect. That'd be fun. That'd be really fun. I like that. Yeah. That would be yeah. There's so much fun stuff we can do with the voice recognition, um, and we haven't done any any of the fun stuff yet. Really, I mean, it's just it's still bare bones. Um, but that's exciting for when we actually get back to doing it and fleshing it out. We can do some really awesome stuff. So what's going on here? Uh, it ha apparently doesn't have anything to do with that. So if new index is greater than old index. In other words, we moved forward. We go from the old index to the new index and we rotate the cover. What is skip animation? Is skip anim animation causing the problem? Skip animation should only be happening when you when you use the um, uh, the letters down below. So I don't know. Maybe it's rotate cover. Let's put in. Um, see what's going on here. It could be uh, an issue in the rotate cover command, or it could be the fact that it's not getting called. So that should help us figure that one out. I'm going to move this over here and we'll start at big box and I'm going to watch the, the, the output to see if that is actually getting called. It is getting called. 
so yeah, it seems to be an issue in the rotate cover command or method, I mean. All right. <clears throat> Come on. Shut down. There we go. So in here this dot cover list and I have a feeling it's because we're not using modulus on the position perhaps huh I see I see I see I see I think I get it. Let's hope. I'm going to say int I for now, whatever. And count. Or are we going to get count? going to replace new index with position. And then image index with I. Hey, hey, this might work. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Whoops. I burk it for the wheel too. Interesting. Man, I'm not having a good time here, am I? Huh. If this dot cover list that contains key I. Hey, Rinse Wind, welcome. I just showed off your your wallpapers earlier.
Yeah, could map any phrases and any key combo. That that's the kind of stuff that we're gonna add options for. Absolutely. System and game info out loud, sure. Yeah. I thought I already did make him a jerk, beat him beat a maniac. Hey Doss, welcome. This video I did of how I am streaming Big Box. Read the description first before watching the video. This was recorded before the double audio with voice commands was fixed. I'll have to watch that after the stream. Oh, the video's private, Vissy. It won't let me watch it. Thank you, be thank you, Beetle, Beetle Maniac. It is almost here. Although uh, I don't, I tend to only put out the you know the major .0 releases when I have something huge. So I don't know what huge I'm going to put in into it uh, for the 7.0 release. But we might, so we might come out with like 6.10 and 6.11. We'll see. Static fade. Suggestion about muting speakers. Okay, as soon as I turn the speakers on, it says yes, and then it shows it doesn't understand the command. Okay. So yeah, it sounds like I have an issue. So I'll come back to this, to that, uh, after this. There it is. Oh, it's only 47 seconds. Streaming from PC to phone and displaying it on the TV. Wow, cool. That's amazing. Huh. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, what's going on? What did I screw up? So I'm sending over, oh, 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 the position I'm sending over, sending over I, old index and new index. which are, okay. Sure, so this is the negative stuff that I'm sending it, which, duh, for the wheel, that's already working. So why on earth would it not work for cover flow? That's what I don't understand. So basically, I need to undo this stuff because this stuff doesn't make sense. It was working before. And yet somehow it's not working to animate it. But it was working when we... All right. and animate. What is animate? That has to be it. Oh, 
goodness. It's this. It has to be that. That's the only possible th thing that it could be. Math.absoluteValue image index minus this dot index is less than the page size. So I guess that means whether it's displayed, just for kicks and giggles here, let's try that first and make sure we found the issue. You know what though, I'm going to put the debug lines back so that I can actually see how many it's calling. Okay, well that's not broke, of course, that's good. Look at that guys, look at that. Yep, it works. Now I need to check the debug information to make sure we're not doing something horribly in, in performant, however you say that, whatever it is. It's likely that this is not useful, but we need to make sure that it wasn't doing something useful because I just, get, just straight up got rid of it. So I'm gonna debug it here and watch the output and see how many boxes it's rotating every time you move. It only rotated two. That's what it should be doing. Just rotating two of them. So it seems like we're fine. It shouldn't be any less performant than it was before. Hooray! Cool. Let's check out the... Actually, I'm going to go back and go into options and uh, under images, I'm gonna change this to, we'll try high. Obviously it's gonna be a little slower because it's still populating in all the images. It's also in debug mode, which is going to slow it down quite a bit because I have it debugging everything. So it's got to check all the lines of code as it goes. And I have debug output messages in there too. So you should get rid of those, speed things up. But I want to check this view.
Working fine. I'm going to go ahead and close this down and um, then we'll start it. Well, I'm going to get rid of the debug messages and clean this up a little, get rid of that and just get rid of these pointless comments here. And we'll rebuild it and then start it up and we'll, we'll give attract mode a shot see how that's working my phone's going nuts all right um, let's go into, first off, I don't feel like waiting for it, so let's go into attract mode and change it to 10 seconds. And then go into SNES, go ahead, go ahead and leave it on here, I'm going to turn the volume down a little. And we'll see how it works. Nice and smooth. Come on, Cash, you can do it. There you go. All right, comments. Oh, I left, it stopped it because I focused off the screen. Anything else epic planned before 7.0? I don't know. Um, that's up to you guys. I need to check the, the Bitbucket tickets and see, you know, what, uh, what, what we should do next. Uh, I've, I've been a little bit out of the loop. Obviously, the last couple of weeks have been mostly just improvements and bug fixes. So I need to, I need to figure that out. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. So that's, you know, we'll get there. But for right now... I'm not really sure. Hey, Moose. When will we be able to have the intro option? Uh, it's not already available. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's on the list, but it's not a very high priority. So I'm not sure uh, at this point. We'll see. We need to get that ticket voted up, I think. Jade, yeah, it's my, my form profile is my kids, but my son is actually in there. I think he's got longer hair, so I and it's just the back of their heads or something. So yeah, I, no worries. But uh, my son and my daughter, yep. Custom filters, maybe voice to text. Custom filters do need revamped for sure, into a playlist type thing. And text to voice, yep. No worries, Jade. Let's, uh, this should start back up again in 10 minutes or so, or 10 seconds, I mean, no worries, doesn't matter, I'm not offended.
There it goes. It's moving now. Did it loop around? I think it did. Yeah, it sure did. Good. Cool. Well, that's solved. I'm happy with that. And we can come back to it for the... Uh, the other option later to do the... the whatever it was called, the Cody thing, where it, it stops at the end and then you can press again to go back to the beginning. But I think we'll stick with this for 6.9. Hey, Vissy, yeah, I, I, I pulled up your video. That's awesome. I actually watched the video and everything on the stream. Sorry, I, I, you must have missed that, I guess. But it looks awesome, it's really cool. Let's go ahead and exit out of this. Beat a Maniac? Yeah, I, I do. Uh, I play it with my kids all the time, actually. The, uh, um, the only thing is my, my kids always want to play the same games over and over and over again. My son is a huge Sonic fan, so he always wants to play Sonic games, the old school Genesis, uh, even even the uh, Sega Master System Sonic games. Um, Sonic is his thing. My daughter always wants to play puzzle games. Uh, I showed Puzzle Bobble. Um, so Puzzle Bobble is, is my daughter's favorite. My, my daughter Zoe. Eva, my youngest, just likes to play anything. She likes anything with, with uh, cars and planes and that kind of thing. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, I play with them in some way, shape, or form pretty much every day. They're, uh, they're also huge. Like they're, they're, All three of them are basically obsessed with Minecraft, which is... I, I, got them, I got them into Minecraft. I used to love Minecraft until my kids got obsessed with Minecraft, and now I'm sick and tired of Minecraft. But anyways, yes, uh, I love playing games with my kids. And actually, when I first, um, when I first had kids, I was all like, uh, I'm going to have a built-in land party and all this stuff. I was really excited about it. So yeah, that's one of my favorite parts of having kids is being able to play with them. Uh, Reese, my son is old enough now where he can actually be good competition for me. So that's fun. It's neat. Nested wheels. Yeah, definitely. I agree. That makes sense, DJ Quad. Makes sense, Beetle, Beetle Maniac. A third arcade cab for my kids, so that we can, so that we can have a kid on each on each cab. Yeah, Jade, that would be awesome if you can put in a ticket. Yeah, that'd be really really cool. I'd appreciate that, because I really like that idea. It's just not something I can jump on right away. Yeah, <laughs> they're all Call of Duty fanboys. Oh man! Well, thankfully, thankfully, my kids are not into the like. Uh, I I hate Call of Duty. I'm sorry. I've always hated Call of Duty, and here's why: it's because it's like it's too much like real life. What the heck? I don't want to play a game like real life. I want to play a fantasy game or a. Uh, if I want to play a shooter, I want to play Quake, or doom or uh you know something that isn't so realistic i don't want realism in my video games i've never liked realism in video games i want fantasy crazy stuff pretty colors um uh, unreal tournament that kind of stuff i never liked realism in video games very much i want good graphics but realism has never been my cup of tea really uh bioshock infinite type shooters that's my stuff anyways Yeah, I don't know how I got off, got off on that tangent, but I've always hated Call of Duty for, with a passion. R type, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do love I love the old school shooters too. Absolutely, shmups. 
Yep. Agreed, Be- Veto Maniac. My, uh, I love, my, as far as modern games go, I love, I love the Grand Theft Auto, Auto stuff. I've been playing Just Cause 3. I love the, the big, massive destruction, um, open world games a lot. But, uh, so I do play quite a few modern games, but of course I play way more old school games than, than modern games, modern games lately, especially since I just got the, you know, the bar top and all that stuff. And that's what I'm working on all the time. So I end up playing a lot more of those games. Okay. Well, when I say realism, there are, there are games I like realism for, and Skyrim is one of those games. I love Skyrim. Skyrim is one of the best games I've ever played. Period. Uh, I, I still, uh, I constantly want to put more hours into Skyrim. I'm, I'm not done playing Skyrim yet. I'm actually really excited for the uh, Xbox One release of Skyrim. So, yeah, I love Skyrim. So don't get me wrong, there are games I really enjoy realism in. I just, Call of Duty is not one of them. I don't like real re- realistic shooters. War shooters are not my thing. Just Cause 3 is not at all realistic. Are you kidding? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's 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 just stupid unrealistic. It's like everything to the extreme, which is exactly what I, I want in a shooter or any game period, you know? Just over-the-top ridiculousness. Ark. I haven't tried Ark. No. Rive? Riven, you mean? How are dragons realistic? <laughs> That's true. I get it. I get it. Yeah, Skyrim is not realistic. It's very much fantasy. Although there are plenty of realistic elements in it. I do like... Well, I like old school point-and-click adventures. Old school point-and-click adventures. Like, when I was a kid, my absolute favorite game of all time, and still might be one of my favorite games of all time, is King, was King's Quest VI. The King's Quest series... Um, unfortunately growing up, I only had five and six, but, uh, the King's Quest series was huge for me. King's Quest six is a game that I play once a year. Um, and of course I've got it all memorized, but I just love playing it because it's so beautiful and so awesome. And the story is amazing, but, uh, Fallout series, I never got into, believe it or not. I tried to get into Fallout four and I didn't like it. I just didn't like it. I don't know what my problem is. I've talked about that before, but it doesn't feel polished to me, uh, in the same way that Skyrim, for example, feels polished. I just don't, I, it d- doesn't appeal to me. I don't know what my problem is. I've never, honestly, I've never been a huge RPG guy, but Skyrim sucked me in and taught me otherwise. So I don't know. I'm still learning. Uh, I've, I've shied away from RPGs a lot in the past just because they haven't been, I, I'm not the kind of guy that really gets into a detailed RPG and wants to go live an alternate life in an RPG. That's not that's not my ideal playing experience. Um, but man, did I get sucked into Skyrim? Holy crap! So I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that one out. I up until a couple of years ago, I literally refused to play RPGs just because I, just because I didn't like them. And the only one I'd ever played was Fable for the original Xbox. Actually, I played it on PC. But anyways, yeah. Hey, Distortion. Good to hear. Yeah, I'm glad to hear about the stability, because that's been huge. That's what I'm trying to work on. Space Quest. Yeah, uh, I unfortunately, I haven't played it, but I've heard good things about it, of course. Rive. This looks interesting. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. That looks incredible. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty awesome. I will I will admit that. Is that only for PS4? I hope not. Although the Xbox One is pissing me off lately. Ugh, I don't want to go on another tirade. But any parents out there, when you try and add one, a, an account for your kid, 
it just, you want to like choke somebody. Literally, you want to murder the console anytime you try and create an account for your child. Because it makes you sign in like 10 times. It's confusing as all get out. It's the dumbest process I have ever seen. And I got so angry last night. Got so angry that I actually threw down my controller and the batteries and the thing popped off because I was sitting there for like a half hour trying to register an account for my youngest daughter who didn't have an account yet on my Xbox. Ugh! Come on, Microsoft. What the heck is your problem? Why can I? Why can you not get that process decent? It was just it just pissed me off to no end, and I gave up. And she still does not have an account on my Xbox. Irritating. I should not have to enter an email address so that my four-year-old daughter can play on my Xbox. Really, really stupid and irritating. Anyways, moving on. Sierra, yeah, oh, Sierra, good stuff, good, good stuff. I'm mentally ill since I don't like RPGs. That's kind of the way I felt for years. I felt, I literally felt mentally ill because I could not get into RPGs. And, uh, but Skyrim kind of changed that for me. Although I still have trouble getting into the more involved RPGs. Um, I have, I, I have gotten into, uh, uh, what is it called? I'm um, mind fart. Um, come on. Witcher, The Witcher Three. I have gotten into that, although not as much as Skyrim. Uh, so I'm proud of the fact that I've been able to get into to get into The Witcher Three a little. But uh, even still, it still doesn't do it for me like a lot of games do. Even though it's an amazing game and I love it, and I, th I think the world is absolutely awesome. It's I don't. I just don't. Anyways. Have you seen the outfits those girls wear in, in JRPGs? How can you not be into them? <laughs> well, to be honest, I've never, uh, I don't know. I've never really, that's never done it for me, Stiphilis. <laughs> Distortion. Ongoing stability issue I can't describe, but I haven't tried to nail it down yet. If you can, Distortion, if you can figure that out and get get me details on it as quick as you can, I'd really appreciate it because uh, I'm trying to get the 6.9 release out and I, I really want to make this release like the most stable release yet. So, yeah, anything you can get me on that, I'd really appreciate it. Pre-attract mode, if I leave the box running, say leave it on and run an errand. Sure. When I come back, it immediately crashes when I take control back. Interesting. Same thing happens if I leave a track mode running for 5-10 minutes to come back. That I've never seen. What, it, it just crashes it completely? Or I mean, what happens? You don't get any error messages or anything? Teddy, saw your Monday session. And do you want some more re replies for Box Boy? Ha 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 ha. Vox boy. Uh, sure. Yeah. If you would, um, why don't we create a, a, a forum post for that? I think that's the best place to put that stuff. Uh, I think that that would be, it'd be good to get a, a discussion started for that. So go ahead and create a, a forum post for that, Teddy. And, uh, that would be excellent. We can, we can, I can pin the post so that people can come back to it and add stuff to it. I think it would be really cool. Awesome. Thank you, Jade, for the ticket. I just voted on it because I like it. Then once you create it and have it connect, every time they walk in the room, recognize them and the game won't load or start. Oh, goodness. Oh, yes. Static fade. Yes. Yes. You feel my pain. You feel my pain. Ah. <sighs> my kids do play Skyrim. Even though it's like rated M, I don't understand why it's such a horribly rated game. I don't get it. I don't see any wrong with anything wrong with them playing Skyrim. So what? Whatever. Broken rating systems, another problem. Anyways. Yeah, yeah. I still hate Sony though. 
Because <laughs> I'm just prejudiced against Sony. Steve, not currently, unfortunately. No way to, to replace the big box splash screen. That I mean, we'll get, we'll add that eventually, but right now that's not possible, unfortunately. I've had to create the email address I hate Microsoft at Outlook.com to play Xbox One. That's funny. I should start with the first. Yeah, I should. That makes sense. That and and that would probably get me more involved. No distortion. Uh, well, let me know anybody if anybody's seen any issues with big box crashing when they get back to it uh, after coming back to it. I mean, after after it's been um, idle for a while. No, I haven't seen that uh, distortion. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. So it doesn't happen on, on my systems. It could have to do with the controller though, maybe. So maybe, maybe I should try that. I don't usually use a controller. I use the, the keyboard because all my arcade uh, stuff just use the controller that makes it act like a keyboard. I know there's story uh, that you miss if you haven't played one and two with The Witcher three, but I uh, when I looked it up, that it said don't let that stop you from playing it. So I mean, the thing is like it would take a long time to get through all three Witchers, I'm sure. So I considered that as well, but I didn't end up doing it. Thank you, Distortion. Man, I still have to play the Mass Effect series. But yeah, I know that's a common, common uh, viewpoint. Sure, I'll give that a test distortion with the 360 wireless. I can do that later today. Excuse me. Take it easy, Imagination. Thanks for joining. All right, so back to work. Uh, this vertical alignment different between VLC and Windows Media Player. I definitely need to tackle that one. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we do need to update the change log though with the cover flow looping. It's the wrong one. Improvement. Cover flow in big box now loops. All right. Yeah, I won't. That was awesome. Rive. Is that how you say it? Rive? Kind of a weird name. Distortion. Any logging software I could run in the back that might help? Unfortunately, no. Um, that's something I would like to add at some point to Launchbox and Big Box, but of course, that's not a fun feature. Uh, for anybody and so it's hard to you know to go back and add that kind of stuff when there's so many other so much other stuff that everybody wants but yeah we could use a, a a much better logging system that can report what's going on in the background when there's errors and stuff like that that's something that would that would help but right now we don't have anything like that cool all right, so I'm gonna close everything but my to-do. Vertical alignment different between VLC and Windows Media Player. And uh, Maddock, Martin, Mad Doc on the forums mentioned that to me in the beta testing thread where depending on the, in certain views anyways, depending on the uh, video playback engine we use, the videos jump up and down a little, which is a problem for themes. So, excuse me.
odd video playback issue. Well, feel free to, to hit me up with that um, in the beta testing thread distortion. Or e here is fine too, but it might be easier to get some more details to me in the thread. Um, so let's change this up. The view he was referring to, I think, was this one. So Sega Genesis is widescreen, and that's centered vertically. Yeah, that's definitely centered vertically. And this is with VLC. Let's change it to Windows Media Player. And go to Genesis. Aha, that's the issue. Okay, so Windows, this is easy. The Windows Media Player, in theory, it should be. Windows Media Player is um, always on top and VLC is centered vertically. So that's what I was figuring was going on. So we should be able to fix that hopefully relatively easily. Um, big box image video view. Center video. Oh, we set horizontal alignment, but we're not setting vertical alignment. Ah, vertical alignment top. We don't do anything with, okay, so let's, I think it should, all we should need to do is do that. Either that or, should we, I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we do it on top or do it in the middle? Let's take a look. Actually, I didn't update it yet, darn it. Cool distortion, thank you. Kaleidoscope, is there a quick way to add a reset to defaults for transitions? I forgot the default settings and I have no way of restoring the original settings. Sure. Is there a, yeah, good question. Man. I don't even know what the original settings are after they're changed. We don't save them anywhere. So that's a good idea, although it's not going to make it into 6.9. If you can create a ticket for that kaleidoscope, I'd appreciate it. I think that's a good idea. Because, yeah, it's easy to mess stuff up. But it's not saved anywhere, so it'll be a little bit of work to make that happen. Programming inquiries. Ah, uh, sure. Go for it, Jade. I can't always answer quickly or right away, uh, but yeah, go ahead and send me an email and I can help you out. Or try anyways. The thing is like, uh, sometimes it's it's quick and easy to solve programming things. Uh, Cause som sometimes people will, I'll see something you don't or you'll see something I don't quickly. But unfortunately, you know, I'm, I'm super, super busy. So I can't spend more than, you know, a few minutes on something really. But feel free to send me stuff and I'll answer if I can. Oh, here we go. Ban the local pretty boy. Mr. Frank. Ban. Bye, Frank. Go home. <laughs> I am so sick of that guy. He's the only troll we have ever had in these streams. He's the only guy that ever trolls us. And he's such a loser. I shouldn't say that. I, I, I really shouldn't. But he's such a... He, he, he doesn't have anything better to do with his life than to join our streams and try and troll us repeatedly. I don't understand. I don't get it. He's not a loser. Whatever. Gah. And it's what's funny to me... What's funny to me is he uses the same usernames every time he joins up. So, so that we know exactly who he is the instant that he joins. He doesn't change it. It's always Frank number. When is he going to start changing it up so that it takes us a while to realize who he is? Some people. Man. Oh. 
Trolls have their uses. Uses. They challenge us. Yeah. Comic relief. Must have just gotten home from school. That's all I can figure. And now, and I now get one of the remarks in the forum about Frank. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. His life is precious. Amen, Kaleidoscope. That's a good way to put it. I don't understand why some people waste their time doing stuff like that. Thank you, Teddy. Awesome. And this is in the features. Sure. Good. Let me pin this. Pinned. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite. That's awesome. Do you hear what you're saying? Ah. That's great. Very, very nice. Thank you very much, Teddy. I appreciate that. All right. Oh, and Frank is back. Is, is, are we going to spend the rest of the stream banning Franks? Is that what's going to happen now? Probably. I wonder how quickly he can create more and more accounts. <clears throat> <laughs> Let the Frank banning commence. Hey, TWD. Uh, this is what we're working on right here. This is the app. It's called Big Box. It's part of LaunchBox. And it's a gaming front end. Let you manage your, manage your games on your computer. It's used for arcade cabinets, etc. So, here you go. There's the app. There's a lot more to it, but that's the gist. Can I ban by IP? I might be able to. He's probably not smart enough to change his IP. That's true. If it keeps happening, I'll look into it. <laughs> Thank you, TWD. Yep, launchbox-app.com. The free version is just the desktop version of it, and then you can um, upgrade to the premium version for the big box experience. Take it easy, EA. Thanks for joining. Take care. I hear you, TWD. I hate working on... Uh... Yeah, Frank is back. I hate working on, on forums. I never liked building forums. Well, I used to like building forums, but I got sick of it real quick. Anyways, moving on. So I'm trying to... Oh yeah, we just did that. I just figured out, figured out a fix for that. The question is, do we center the videos or do we uh, put them on top vertically? And previously, the previous behavior we did was on top so I'm thinking maybe we should do it that way. So that we don't break existing themes. Let's see what happens. Why am I using horizontal content alignment? I don't know.
I'm afraid I'm going to break something because last time I tried to play with the alignment, I ended up, it end, the videos disappeared. So I hope, I hope this doesn't break anything, but we'll see. Hey, Camel, welcome. Thank you for the purchase. I love, I, I really appreciate it. You bet. All right. So... Genesis, it's it's on top. This is Windows Media Player. We go into uh, options. Where is it? Videos. Change it to VLC. Yeah, that is happening every once in a while. Uh, see now, no, okay. So they're not showing up. That's what happens. That's the problem with the alignment. So what I think I'm going to do instead even though it might end up screwing up themes. But the thing is, it's gonna look better on it. And if you, if you put a TV up, so I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna use center, which will look better if somebody themes a TV anyways, in theory, we'll try that. And then at least it'll be the same uh, behavior for both Windows Media Player and VLC. You're too nice to me, Jade. You are way too nice to me. Okay, centered. VLC. And then Windows Media Player. Centered. Good. So let's... Check the other views and make sure nothing looks weird. That looks a little weird, but... I think it's just that view. It's just not a very well-constructed view. That looks fine. Um, and then the... Of course, all these videos are going to be full frame. But anyways, yeah, I think we're okay. So we'll stick with that for now. That was easy for the most part. Now the big one, the last piece, the big difficult thing to resolve, um, really before 6.9 is that voice recognition is not supporting cultures outside the US. Um, and this one's gonna be a struggle, to be honest. I'm, I'm gonna have to, the rest, the rest of my day is going to be spent trying to solve this issue. And if I can solve this issue and no, no other big bugs come up, then we're ready for release. But this one's gonna be tough. So, gotta figure out how to solve that one. Let's catch up on comments here. <laughs> Except for an odd Frank. Ali, that Genesis video with the name in, in the beginning, I think you're, I think I know what you're talking about. You're, t yeah, you're talking about my Genesis video. That came from e Emu Movies. Circo built that uh, for just a couple platforms and wasn't getting enough interest. So he, I don't know that he built a bunch more, but hit up Circo at Emu Movies and tell him you want, you want him to build more. Cause yeah, I agree. I like him. I, I, they're awesome. They're also in, uh, in HD. So that's huge.
Hey, Bojo. Basically, hopefully you just saw what it is for the most part. It's a gaming front end. Yeah, go for it. All right, so um, voice recognition, multiple cultures. There is a ticket on this stuff. There's been a couple tickets. Let me pull up the ticket. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Goodness. There it is. So basically, there's a couple issues here. One is that it's having trouble accessing a folder, but that's not the key issue. The key issue is that uh, it won't register for uh, for non-US cultures somehow or other. Now, to test this, I'm going to have to um, use a virtual machine and change my culture and all that stuff. So it's going to be a royal pain, to be honest. But that's what I need to focus on um, for the rest of the day to make sure I can get this fixed. Because obvi obviously, we just it is it is only going to be English. Uh, the voice recognition stuff likely for um, for six point nine. It's it's really only going to support English, I think. But it would be good if it at least supported English on non-English systems. and Because right now, it's not. It's just not working. So that's kind of what I need to get fixed. In my voice folder, this is all the voice recognition code. I have my speech handler. We have set voice, this get installed voices command. Um, it's already trying to get the installed voices for the current culture. And then if it can't find any, it tries to get it for US. There was a, you know what? There's a, there's a forum post on this stuff that I really should be looking at. Or actually, no, maybe this is in the ticket. Can't remember where all this stuff is. It's been a while since I looked into it. Into it. All right, so Marcus says, I got really annoyed by voice recognition not working. Change the owner of my user program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be fixed, this particular issue. No debug audio window, no signal. Recheck Cortana, both run fine. Switch my launchbox copy from English to German restart oh okay audio meter there launch box even answers in broken german accent doesn't understand anything okay ah i see so the current culture in launch box matters right now so where 
would the culture stuff be that I need to change is the question. Switched Windows to English, downloaded the speech pack, did the training. Now voice recognition works like a charm. So somehow or other, there's several issues here. One is that the voice recognition is affected by whatever culture you've got set up in LaunchBox, which makes sense. And then it also has to match up to whatever you've got installed in Windows. This stuff is so annoyingly difficult to, to work through. But the... So another thing to think about, though, is people that are not using a Windows version of English are not going to have English voice recognition installed. They're only going to have their local voice recognition installed. So somebody using a German version of Windows is only going to have German voice recognition going. And then everything is going to be broken. And there's not a whole lot I can do that do for that unless somehow they're able to install English voice recognition. So to be honest, I don't know if there's anything I can do about this issue. Huh. Until I get proper multilingual support. How difficult is that, is that going to be? That's the question. We definitely need to be able to translate all the voice recognition. But man, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to solve this one before 6.9 because there's a lot of work to do to get the voice recognition um, multilingual. Okay, let's I'm I'm catching up on comments here's comments here guys. So uh Beatlemaniac, uh Microsoft distributes I'm using the Microsoft voice recognition engines as well as the Microsoft um speech text to speech engine. Alright? And those come with Windows. Um and I'm doing all kinds of really cool logic in order to, to use it as well as possible. So it's not like I'm just using what they've already got, but that is the underlying engine. And so when somebody has an English version of Windows, it comes with English versions of those engines. If somebody has a German version of Windows, it comes with German versions of those engines. So, um, and right now the, Ger the German stuff isn't working at all. Um, Hi, Camel Spit. I can link you to this ticket here. There's a there's a forum post as well. Uh, let me see if I can find that. I think the best post is this one. Sure, Moose, I'm trying. I'm trying to, to, to get this working, you know, for multiculturally and all that stuff. Um, but it is going to be a lot more work. So I'm not sure I'm going to get that in, in for 6.9. After, after thinking about this issue, uh, the fact that users, in, users with other different versions of Windows don't have English voice recognition or English uh, stuff installed, that is going to put a damper on, on me being able to even fix this stuff. So... I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to do anything about it. But yes, I do plan on, on adding it for other languages, Beetle Maniac. Um, the, the responses can easily be translated by all our translators. Um, so I just have to, I, have, I do have to put in the work to make that happen though. So. adjust the internet to the other languages as well.
Yeah, the training does help, absolutely. I think I think you got it, Static Fade. That's a good point. That's another thing we need to look into. So maybe I can check on that here. Uh, yes, it's definitely the yes command that's that's triggering it. That makes sense. Yeah, the the other other speech synthesis engines. There, there are there are lots of different voices you can install into Windows, and Launchbox will now let you pick one to which one one to use. But uh, we're not going to uh, anytime soon, anyways. I'm not going to implement more engines. Just too much work. Teddy, I think so. I think you can download different English engines. I kind of need somebody who is from a different, uh, or use, speaks a different language and has a different version of Windows to test that stuff out and try it. Uh, because, yeah, you shouldn't have to switch your entire Windows to English to do it, in theory. Sure. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see and take a look at that yes issue. I thought I already had code in here to in to fix in in here to fix that, but maybe I messed it up. Let's take a look at that. There's a response. I'm going to check on something here real quick. So these are all translatable voice messages. Did I voice message? Yes. Yes. Response. So voice message yes response is what I need to search for. So this stuff is translatable, but there's a lot more that isn't yet that we need to, to work on. But ultimately all the responses will end up in here and they'll all be translatable so that we can you know make it uh, work well for everybody, including the commands and all that stuff. But that's what's tricky is the commands more than the responses. The responses are easy, the commands are not so easy. So that's going to be a lot more work yet. <clears throat> okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe that's my problem. Aha. Oh, but no, that, hmm. All right, so the way this is working is it says, this is where it pulls back yes and says yes. And then to combat this being a problem, I add yes as a, as a detectable thing and then if it's found I ignore it is the is what I try and do maybe I've messed up the ignore code though where is it doing that are we using where's voice message yes Here we go. Speech recognized. We started over basically. But something there isn't working.
Of course, this is going to be difficult to troubleshoot because... It's not happening for me. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, nice. Thank you, Teddy. Looks like it will. Yeah, that would make sense. So I'll look into that in a second. Launch box. Yes. See, it just ignores it when I say yes. But, yes. Never mind. I don't know why that wouldn't be working though. It's well, it's detecting it as exit is what's happening. Yeah, it doesn't think it's hearing yes. It thinks it's hearing exit. So really, it's a matter of better training the voice recognition. Come to think of it, so. I'm not sure there's anything I'm going to be able to do about that other than to tell people to train the voice recognition. Either that or make sure that the microphone isn't pointed too badly at the speakers because that can help us. That, that can be a problem as well. Um, but generally, it does work in those kinds of environments. Um, I don't know. So maybe a better microphone, that kind of thing. I don't know how else to solve that one. I don't think there's any good way to do it. Launch box. Yes. Exit. I was wondering if you were ever going to be productive again. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Nice, Moose. Yeah, that'd be awesome. There, there is a way, Static Fade, there is a way to, to have it turn off responses. Um, so if you turn off responses, then that shouldn't be an issue. But then it won't respond to anything. Moose, uh, yeah, yeah, if you can, um, actually, it's not Jason David Carr, it's Jason Carr on the forums, I think, with a space. But yeah, uh, if or just comment on on that thread that I linked above or something like that, and uh, and we can and yeah, you can test stuff for me. That that would be great. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you, Static Fade. That was that. Most of those came from uh, you guys, the live stream. Yeah, and there's some good stuff there. So I'm excited to get it more fleshed out uh, with some stuff from the forums too. Um, anyways, culturally, <clears throat> so if somebody can install the English voice recognition features, then in theory, so here's what we should do. First off, for now, we should restrict it to U.S. English, perhaps, until we add support for the other stuff. So, Oops. Q. 
get installed voices. Oh, this is okay. So I'm thinking for now, uh, I'm going to comment this out. And for now, we're going to, we're going to only return voices that are us English. Since it's only, it only knows how to speak us English right now for in most cases, anyways. And we'll have to fix this up later to support different cultures. <clears throat> and that's only for the speech synth synthesizing. So, you know, and this is also only for getting the installed voices. How do I change the culture on the synthesizer itself? Let's check that out. We use set voice. I guess it's going to get the culture from the voice. That's all I can figure. What is going on in these comments? I'm so lost. It's not even funny. Yeah, I think the synthesizer should be set. The recognizer is the piece that um, handles the voice recognition. So... No culture, no language. <clears throat> Let's see if I can Google that one. This is speech recognition engine. Culture info. Oh, you put the culture into the constructor. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, that, I'm guessing this will solve it so that you'll at least be able to use English on um, non English versions of Windows. Culture info or new culture info English US. So then, in theory, what this will do is let you use it, at least in English, depend, regardless of whatever your uh, current culture is in LaunchBox and regardless of whatever your current culture is in Windows, as long as you have the Windows speech recognition engine, uh, you have a, a, an English, U.S. English speech recognition engine and a U.S. English uh, speech synth synthesizer voice installed on your system. Goodness sakes. But yeah, in theory, that'll at least let you use it. But it's going to be a royal pain. Most people aren't going to know how to do that. So eventually, we're going to want to come back and fix this. But I'm, and it's not something I'm going to be able to fix before 6.9. So this is what we're going to have to do for now. Let's make sure I didn't break anything. Make sure everything everything's working here. Uh, I also need to... Check to see if I'm doing this anywhere else. <clears throat> if 
Apparently not. Good. It built. Let's check it out. I have no idea what's going on in the comments, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't know, Martin. I hope... Did UK English work properly for you already? I'm not sure. Correct English. <laughs> We should, we we definitely better make sure we didn't break, we don't break things for UK though. That's, that's a good point. Launch box. Uh, show all games. <laughs> Launch box. Exit. Alright. So we didn't break anything for English US. Question is, did we break anything for uh, the UK? And I think, let me look at the .NET language codes. How many different English ones are there? Wow, there's a ton of them. Holy crap. English US, English GB, man, alive. All right, well, here's what we can do. If, culture info dot current culture dot name. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Current culture in LaunchBox is always going to be English US. If you have English selected in LaunchBox, the system doesn't care. It's always going to be English US. So what are we going to do? I don't know. I don't know how to solve this problem. Dang it. Uh... Is this was basically, if we do it like this, it's going to use the default system culture, likely, which should work fine. Va. I don't know. I don't know how to solve this one. <clears throat> the other thing is, if you, if, you know, we're going to have to change up the other part too, where we, because uh, this is only going to show you English US voices and it should support showing you English UK voices too. So I don't know. I think. Uh, we're going to have to go back to that code. Which will at least show you the voices. And really, ideally, we should combine these as well. So. Um... Get installed voices returns a read only collection. Um, I know link will let me merge somehow or other. How do I merge? Combine arrays. And cat. That's what I'm looking for.
except ah, then it's going to do English twice, probably. Man, this is annoying. So we start with that. And then maybe we do for each <clears throat> installed voice, voice in this one. This can be a var. Now, how do I tell if voices contains? That's probably not going to work. I don't think that's going to work. Bool found. Nah. All right. Found, found equals false for each. Our voice in voices um, existing voice pain in the rear uh, if existing voice dot name that voice info dot name equals voice dot voice info dot name then found equals true and break. If not found, voices.add voice. But of course, this is a stupid read-only collection. So we got to do that. And voices dot two array. How annoying. But I think that'll work. That'll get us both the local culture voices. So if you're in the UK, you're going to get your UK voices, or you're also going to get your. Uh, foreign voices as well, which might not work very well, but that'll just have to be a thing. And you're also going to get US voice voices as an option if they're installed. So that should be handled. However, I'm not so I'm not so sure about uh, what we're going to do here because I'm going to check on the comments here. See if you guys came up with anything. Hey, K Money, yep, we got that resolved. <clears throat> Canadian. This this will allow you to, to, at least what I just did will work just fine in Canada. Canadian English. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Unfortunately, I need code in order to tell me what the system's language is, and I don't have that code right now. So Yeah. 
Take it easy, camel spit. Hey, Shades. Foreign voices be linked to the languages set. So, what I'm trying to get working, Shades, is, is get English voice recognition working on foreign systems. No problem, K-Money. Um... So anyways, I can specify a culture here or I cannot specify a culture. And if I do it like this, it's going to be ultimately, it's going to pick up whatever culture you're, you're using on your system, not in LaunchBox. It's going to be, it's going to pick up whatever culture you're using on your system. If I put current culture in there, it's going to pick up whatever culture you're using in LaunchBox. If I put a static culture in there, it's going to override it. So, How are we going to do this? I need something that's going to return me that the system's culture. And I don't do that anywhere. I don't look for it anywhere. But that's ultimately what I need. C-sharp gets system culture. I don't want culture info that current culture. Get operating system language. Installed UI culture, is that it? Aha, got it. Okay. So here's what we do. If culture info dot installed UI culture dot how do I get the code? Two letter ISO language name equals English, <clears throat> then we're just going to do this by default. We're going to use whatever is there. Otherwise, we're going to force it to be English US. New culture info, English US. So the way this will work is in theory. Um, go ahead and do this. In theory, if you're using an English version of Windows, it will use whatever English version you have installed. If you're using a non-English version of Windows, it will require you to, to go download and install the US English language pack. And I think that'll be that'll have to be good enough for now. Let's make sure things work. I'm gonna put a breakpoint on this. So make sure things are working as expected. In, uh, I'll change this up to launch box instead of big box for now. And we'll give it a run. Okay, now, yes. So the two letter ISO language name is English as we expect. So it should do this and we should, yeah, things will work fine.
Launch box. Yeah. Never mind. Beam me up, Scotty. Why is it saying beam me up, Scotty, every single stupid time? Is my random stuff not working properly? Because that's going to drive me nuts. Launch box. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. So it is random. We're just getting unlucky. Um. Oh, one more thing I want to test. The voices list. Good. So there's no duplicates in here. But it should show other cultures as well in this list now. It was it was, was only showing US English, I think. Before. Or no, it was yeah, it was working before for other cultures, but it wasn't showing US English in addition. Now it should show the US English in addition if that's installed. So, I think we're good there. So, good to go, I think, with that stuff. Hopefully, the voice stuff is ready for 6.9 now. Um, go back to my to-do list. We'll have to test that stuff out, but... we want to. I want to test this, but I'll test this after the stream. Um... I need to go through the Italian forms and fix anything that needs fixed. This, I'm working with Keith at Monster Arcades with some stuff uh, for testing because he's looking at possibly putting big box on um, cabinets. So that's exciting. Um, don't refresh when changing themes, the system and option screens have that issue, but I don't think I'm going to tackle that before 6.9. That's not really a very big issue. Full screen videos are currently stuck on Windows Media Player, which is kind of something I should tackle. So if I can get to that today, that would be good. Downloads from Azure. Basically, I'm trying to make the downloads um, uh, better have better speeds worldwide because there's issues in the UK sometimes with the downloads and I don't really know why that's happening then we have uh, some more features for you know voice recognition and um, a lot more stuff for custom themes to work on and stuff like that there's lots of stuff to do but None of that stuff is likely going to make it into 6.9. So yeah, my goal today is to wrap this stuff up. And before the um, end of the day, I should hopefully have things ready, minus maybe some translations. And we can put out the release tomorrow. That is my hope. If not, it might be delayed a little bit because of uh, waiting on translations. But... We are going to fo to shoot for tomorrow for a release. Thank you, Pac-Man. I should have looked. Of course, that's what I ended up running with. What do you mean, Shades? Would you prefer it to be set to the language set in LaunchBox? Problem with that is the the current um, voice recognition stuff just straight up doesn't work with anything other than language other than English so it's better to actually make it work in those situations yeah me too K money I forgot about that I got that email last night from Artsu 
So yeah, maybe we could, why don't we do that for the rest of the stream? We got like 20 minutes. We'll pull in his beta and play with that a little bit. Good to know, Ali. Thanks. This game is free. Club. The crew. Oh, okay. Sure. That's neat. That's that's awesome. Nice. All right. Um, so yeah, let me pull up my email. I got an email from R2 and I actually wanted to start the stream off with this, but I forgot about it. Okay. So I'm not supposed to share this stuff with, I hope he doesn't mind me doing this on the live stream because he does say he doesn't want me sharing it with the community, this beta. So, but I think it'll be okay. I'm going to go ahead and download the beta. <clears throat> and my LED blinky installation is right there. And I'm gonna, well, we will make a backup copy of this. So we can revert if we need to. Come on now, hurry up. I'm gonna turn on the cabinet because I'm gonna need that to be on obviously. And Dropbox is gonna need a sink. Extract the zip. Okay, and now I just need to overwrite everything in my LED Blinky folder. Okay, and then he says, run the LED Blinky config app. There it is. Your LED Blinky configuration has been updated to version 6.3. And there's Big Box over here. You need to exit out of it and let Dropbox sync with the newest version of Big Box and then also LED Blinky here. And he says... On the miscellaneous op options tab, enable the debug log. I already have that enabled, yeah. Try the various options on the launch box tab. Oh, wait. You can then select launch box from the front end menu. Ah, yes. Cool. All right, save. Then under launch box, cool. Launch box buttons should light up when the front end is active, neat. Using the controls editor, click the FE button. 
Change the colors and voice commands for the launch box controls. Okay. Awesome. I'm not sure if I'm going to like light launch box controls, but we'll give it a shot. Light FE controls cannot be used in junction with an FE active animation. Okay, and I, it's not. So I need to, actually, Dropbox isn't even syncing right now. Darn it. So I need Dropbox to sync to go over to the cabinet, of course. And then once that's synced, we can test out the LED blinky stuff. Of course, I don't have any, have any uh, lights over here. So let's check out the comments. It's going to take a minute or two for that to sync, unfortunately. Where's my Twitch? I have no idea where my Twitch went. All right, I'll look at it, load it up again. I'm so confused with Neil. It seems like Neil is a computer or something weird. Like he's a a bot. That's all I can figure. It's like he's a it's it's like Neil is a bot that he's picking up um uh, stuff from the conversation and trying to contribute. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Neil 9000 yeah, I'm I'm confused. Confused by a lot of the stuff you're saying. I'm sorry if if uh I don't get it. Close encounters. What do you, what do you mean by close encounters? Okay, I'm sorry, Neil. I'm sorry. But I'm I don't get it. I don't get what half the things you're saying don't make sense to me. But I don't mean to offend you. I'm sorry about that. I just I don't I don't understand. Like, what do you mean by close encounters? <laughs> Anyways, Wow, 526 files, darn it, this is going to be a while. Oh, I see. I'm just, I guess I'm just lost. That's my problem. Completely lost. So sorry about that. Anyways, here we are, waiting for this to sync. My LED blinky, we got images to sync. So yeah, it's going to be a little while here. 13 minutes, it says. Although I, you can't really trust that. It's usually a lot quicker than that. But... Maybe I should just... <laughs> horrible way to end the stream after after uh calling neil a bot <laughs> i'm i'm a social expert <laughs> all right guys i think i am going to end it though because this is going to take too long dropbox yeah it's going up so it's going to be like 15 minutes before i'm going to be able to get everything synced so we can test the the led blinky stuff but uh, obviously, official LaunchBox LED Blinky support is coming very soon because uh, we have a beta from Artsu. Um, 
and even the, I mean it was working before this beta pretty well too but this adds some extra features so this is cool I'll be playing with those extra features and uh, we'll be good to go here ready for 6.9 I think I'm gonna go ahead and put out a beta shortly after uh, the stream uh, won't wait for the end of the day because I think we're pretty much ready for a beta from what I can tell so I'll put out the beta get some translations in there whatever's ready for me and hopefully tomorrow we can put out the official release Woohoo! so uh, thanks everybody I appreciate it again sorry Neil for calling you a bot <laughs> just because I wasn't understanding what you were saying and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon have a good one No worries. No worries, Jade. No problem at all. <laughs> oh, Lee. <laughs> all right, later, guys.